roof. We out here smacking. Sheesh. What is cracking, Brock Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video. You're with your man, Sean Desi, and as you could have seen, I just finished what was a great breakfast, but today, we have big plans, guys. We are flying to Brisbane. That's right. I do not have a return ticket. I don't know how long I'm going for. It's supposed to, like, rain for a whole week while I'm up there, unfortunately. I only found out this after I booked the ticket, so that means we may be coming back early. Planning to go for, like, a week or so, but the reason I didn't book the tickets was because I wanted to maybe even stay a little bit longer or just whatever the case may be. But I'm happy I didn't because now I found out it's going to be raining. So that means we could also potentially leave early, guys, if it's just too rainy and miserable. But I'm going to be making a sick vlog today, traveling from Sydney to Brisbane. And once we get to Brisbane, the man Suave is going to be picking me up. I'm pretty sure he's going to be with Dylan Connell or something like that, but I'm really not sure. Plans may change. And then we are going to be heading spots in the city, filming some street clips, and of course, making a little vlog for you guys, finishing off the vlog. And just collecting some footage of all the homies, riding, chilling out, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be so sick. So smash a like on this video right now, but let me just quickly show you how the packing is going. Look at this freaking design though. We aren't allowed to bring tools in the carry-on, and we only have one carry-on. Nothing's going under the plane except for my scooter. So I'll have to improvise and tape this bad boy to my scooter, but... Hopefully it holds up, guys. Then over here, we have the packed orange bag. This has everything in it, cords, camera stuff, all you need. And then, of course, I'm going to be having my backpack on me, and that's already all packed up and stuff. So believe it or not, everything is good to go, guys. All we need to do from here is get to the airport. So you already know how this goes. I'm going to speed up this process. I'm not even going to mess around with none of that B-roll in the car. And I'll be seeing you when we're at the airport. We just got dropped off, you already know boys. Got the orange bag there and the scooter right here with the tools. Also got the good old backpack on my back, you know how we rolling guys, but we are literally at the airport right now. I'm already checked in on my phone. I need to print out some boarding tags and all this kind of stuff, get through security, etc. All that bullshit before we get through and onto the plane. So you already know how this goes guys. Oh my God dude. No, this van just smashed this guy. What the fuck? We'll get now and have a look and shit. That's, that's some class guys. Oh shit, we out here boys, we out here. Right, guys, so this is how it's gonna go. I'm gonna speed up this process and I'll see you once we've sorted everything out. And we're on the other side. Oh, we are now through security guys. We have the bag and the backpack. We have just lost the scooter. That's the only thing that we have lost. Well, we haven't lost it. It's now checked under the plane with the tools on it. So I'm hoping the tools do not come off, but we've got the security here in the background. We just got through. For some reason, I always get my shit raunched through. They always go top to bottom on my bags, both of them. Putting them back through the conveyor belt and just checking them twice, maybe even three times, just ripping apart my shit, just making my life super hard. Always happens, guys. I don't know why. It's just airports and camera gear. It just, it's not a good mix, guys. But we are now in the food court. Got all that done and dusted. Thankfully, now we can get some food, chill out, find our gate and get on the plane, guys. That's all there is to it. I'm so keen to get to Brisbane, ride some spots with the boys, and stack some content for all of you. Yeah, man. All these options, dude. My mouth is literally watering right now, guys. This is this is mean. First things first, we need to find the gate, guys. Got my boarding pass right here, and it says we need to get to gate 34. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt. No doubt at all that we are not coming back to this food court and getting some food before the plane. Oh, shit. Gate 49 to 59. We gotta go back through the food court. Alright, so we literally just did one big fat loop of the food court. 31 to 48, this way. Now, we are finally heading in the right direction towards the gate. Gate 34, guys, we made it. This is the place we bought in. Although, it is only 9.47. Our flight is at 10.30, so we get a bit of time to kill. We're gonna go hunt down some food. Jimmy's whipping up the juice right now. Oh, top ups, top ups. Thank you. Thank you. You too. We have now made it back to the gate, guys, but honestly, I wasn't too hungry. I'm going to get food in Brisbane. I just settled with this nice, good old smoothie to fill the tummy until then. Time is now 10 o'clock exactly. We have 30 minutes till we board our flights. In the meantime, I'm just going to go on my phone, scroll through Instagram for a little bit, finish my smoothie before we get onto the plane and make our way to Brisbane. So I'm going to speed up this process for you guys. Like this video, and I'll see you when we're on the plane. Alright guys, so we are now out of the 
plane, touched down in Brisbane, and let me just say, it wasn't too bad of a flight. It was actually pretty cruisy. I got some editing done and kicked back. Just had some time for myself. We're out here, guys. We're pretty much exiting the airport right now, heading down the escalator. So we are literally on our way to baggage claim right now. We have exited the gate, gotten out of the plane, and done all that stuff. But get this right. So as I was about to hop on the plane, as I was just about to hop on the plane, someone pulled me up because they, they looked at my bag and they thought it was overweight. One of the flight attendants pulled me up and they looked at my bag and uh, I think it looked a little overweight, guys. The limit for carry-on baggage was seven kilos and my bag was 10 kilos. That meant the bag actually had to go under the plane and I, I could not do that, guys. I had some precious stuff in there so I had to swap between my bag and that bag and just move heaps of stuff around and just get it all sorted. So I don't like doing things like that right before I hop on the plane and stuff. So that got me a little agitated, guys. But luckily, I didn't have to pay a cent extra which I'm cheering about but we are now out here and we have made it to the baggage claim baggage claim one and the bags are starting to get spat out let's hope I get my belongings without any hassle oh yeah that's a good feeling guys item one out of two has been collected thank you very much no worries. second out of two items has been picked up and the tools are still intact oh my gosh guys it's my lucky day we are finally out here in Brisbane, guys, and let me just say, it is freaking hot. Like, it is freaking hot. Alright, so now that we're at the airport, what's pretty much going to go down is i got to go meet Suave. I just got off the phone with him, actually. I hadn't heard from him all morning, so I got kind of worried, but I just got off the phone with him, and he's almost at the airport now, so I need to go to the waiting bay, wait for his car, and then after that, we should be good. We have now been picked up by the man Suave. How's it going, dude? Good, good. That's the way. So, I believe Suave has picked me up from the airport previous times, a couple of times. I can't even remember how many times I've been to Brisbane, but he has definitely been the man who has come through and swung me up from the airport. So, I want to say shouts out to Suave. If you don't follow him on Instagram, go peeps content at Suave. I don't know how you spell it. It's like S U A S U at S U A A V V E double Y there you go guys so go type that into your Instagram chuck him a follow because he's got some fire content but now that we have met up with the homie we are going to be going into the city getting some food and riding some street spots slash a skate park warm-up or something I really don't know what the plan is guys it's pretty loose at the moment but I'll be filling you guys in as the day progresses for sure don't you worry so I'm gonna speed up this process I'm probably not gonna film getting food or anything I'm just gonna pull out the camera as soon as we have reached our destination Oh shit, we pulled up to Pado, the infamous Pado skate park, guys. I'm sure you know this park real well. We've got the skate park right here behind us. Me and Swab just quickly went to Coles, grabbed some bits and pieces to nibble on throughout the day while we hit some spots. But now that we're at the skate park, guys, you already know i got to get some clips for the video. I've literally not rode at all the whole day today. I've just been on a plane and shit. So we got to strap up to that GoPro and get a warm-up session in pronto. So without any further ado, I'm not going to waste any more time because I'm way too eager to stack some clips. So like this video, guys, and I'll see you when I'm on my chest. Ooh, just like that, homies, we are now on the GoPro. Like this video because you already know I'm about to stack some hams. Let's get into it. Now, I think it's time for a new section. Let's get into it. Oh my god, it is hot in Brisbane. So I've got an ender on this obstacle before we move on to the next obstacle. It's an absolute crazy one to say the least, guys. I'm going to go precision up to precision flat to precision down 
Backs up 180 out. Oh my god. Like this video off. I'll pull this one off, guys. I say, guys, I freaking call it and I freaking land it like this video. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna flow this puck as hard as I can, try and hit every single obstacle and just boost ramps, grind coping, do all that kind of stuff. just one more thing i want to do and that's one ender on the flat bot to end the gopro session there guys i've got something cool in mind so like this video because it's going to be a hard one but i know we got it we always got it so we are now here at the flat bar and the banger that i'm going to do to end the session is going to be a back 50 front 50 back 50 front side 360 guys big combo i know but we freaking got it We freaking did it. We freaking did it. Ugh. Finished off on a ham, guys. I know, I'm pretty hyped on that too. Anyway, that is me for the GoPro session. Like this video, and I'll see you on the G7. Oh, oh guys. Freaking GoPro sessions. I haven't made a vlog for a while, so I actually forgot how f you get from the GoPro sessions and how tired and fatigued you get. But me and, me and the man Suave are just kicking back right now. It is honestly so hot. We're both pretty tired. We want to depart this skate park real soon. I feel like I'm semi-warmed up, guys. But to be completely honest with you, I was just rushing around trying to get all my clips as fast as possible because my GoPro kept fucking around on me, guys. Kept doing this repairing file thing, which just... It freaking annoys me so much, guys. It absolutely gets me so freaking angry. But not only that, I was running on a low battery, guys, so I had to pump out everything as quick as possible. And guess what? I finished on 1%, so we did that just perfectly. But anyway, guys, that is honestly all I'm going to be filming at this skate park while we're here. We've gotten enough content, and I am absolutely beat. We out, Suave? Scared it. Goodbye, Paddington Skate Park. It's been fun, it really has, but we got a dope session. We are out of here, guys. Session is over. It's way too hot. Way too hot to be out scootering today. It's like 37 or something. And not only that, but just coming off a plane ride with no food, it just does not mix well together. Especially no water either. It just made me feel dizzy and sick, and I just I just needed to get out of there guys. I just at least I made sure I got some GoPro clips for you. So it wasn't a complete failure. Also, guys, while I'm in Brisbane, I'm gonna be staying at Nathan Flamongo's house. So shout out to Nathan. Always giving me a place to crash my head whenever I'm up in Brisbane. But in saying that, guys, that means we're gonna have to drive there now to drop off all my belongings and just to call it a day there because it's absolutely too hot. And just like that, guys, we are now back at the crib. What a great day it has been. And let me just say, it feels real good to make another vlog because in all honesty, what I love doing is providing you guys with the best content, whether it be video parts, vlogs, anything, guys. Anything on my scooter or just footage of me, even if it be off the scooter, I just want to bring you guys the best content possible. As you guys already know, I have told you it is supposed to rain like literally the whole week, which sucks, guys. I mean, then again, weathermen can't always be 100% correct, so it could change. So what I'm planning on doing is waiting it out in Brisbane for a few days. And if it's not showing any signs of stopping, I'm probably gonna head back to Sydney a little earlier than planned because my original plan was to be up here for a week. But like I said, I even didn't book a ticket back for the fact that I may be even up here longer. So anyway, as I was saying, like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new, turn the post notifications on to get notified whenever I come out with a new video. And of course, guys, take it easy and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.